Okay, so um, as I mentioned last week, I'm going to try to simulate an aquarium. Now, the first problem, of course, is to be able to simulate the water properly. I was not happy with the water that I was able to get out of uh, cinema, so I went to Houdini, which is what you see here. Um, I don't have a full render because it takes quite a bit of time to render any of this, and I just got this just so today. So, um, the f thing I found was you need to have enough geometry, because the problem I was having is I took, I based my first thing I was trying off a video by, uh, uh, I'm going to put a link in it, but it was basically uh, a video of um, essentially a cube dump, dropping into a wine glass and splashing. And what was happening with me is I did something similar and the water would fall out of the bottom of the enclosure of the tank, if you will. And so that wasn't going to work. Then I saw another one, which was very new, using, I think it was using some newer nodes, which works great for what they were doing, which was essentially liquefying um, one of the uh, objects that comes with Houdini, which is like a rubber duck. No, not quite a duck. A rubber toy. And I tried that. I couldn't. I got splashy water, but not a tank. And then when I tried using, there is a setting in Flip Fluids called Waterline. The, I couldn't get the uh, solid object that I wanted to drop in to actually um, collide. It would just fall right through. So that didn't work for me. And it's, so I went back to the uh, wine glass based simulation, which is what you're seeing here. I, instead of doing what they did, which is essentially taking part, taking a um, part of everything that wasn't, um, in the little place where the wine should be at and making that its own, or, or sorry, last, taking a blast of everything that's not where the wine's going to be or where the liquid's going to be and then making that a separate uh, object, a separate thing that would go into the flip. Um, what I did is I created my own box, which is box two. Um, you can see there. And I did that. And that uh, gave me uh, something that would work. I don't know. It's going to start calculating again. Or is it? Yeah, it is. It's doing something. Let me go. Let's see what happens when I hit escape. Well, we, you saw the flash, the splash there. So when... What I'm going to need to be doing, actually, is just cash out the whole darn thing. And then I'll have something that I can actually start working with the colors and getting a render. So then what I'm going to have, essentially, is the, the fluid simulation. The box that drops into it, that made the splash, which you don't see anymore, um, that what can be replaced by making the objects in, in, you know, the fish and so on. Now, the things that are in a tank, you know, the, the filter, the heater, the, the gravel, the, you know, all the other things that one might put in a tank, those could be part of the rigid, uh, sorry, the static object that the fish are moving in. So that's kind of a plan right now. Um, so let me see if there's any before I, uh, let's see what else we got here. So 
I mentioned there was another sim. Let me see. I am going to see if I can open that. See, this falls straight through. And this is the water. Now, let's try something. Let's show you what it ended up doing. This is a much faster simulation than what I had. So, we're going to get rid of the water line here. Uh, so, now you have this. And I think what's going to happen, you see what happens? This picks it up. This goes, works perfectly. The box, because and I think the problem is the box is not connected. And um, I'm not quite, I, I'd have to do some more research. This is what I want to show you. So if we go here. And you can notice the voxel size. This is, you can see if you make, let me see if I can show the collisions on this. Let's see. Um, well, this right now, these voxel size is 0.01. If I make it much bigger, you see what happens? You kind of lose some of the um, integrity here. So bring it back down to 0 0.01. Because this is what's actually going to be doing the collision. Remember, these are volume collisions. Uh, 0 0.01, not 0 0.1. These are volume collisions. So it's very important that your volume here is solid. Or the collision's not going to work. So that's the thing I want to point out back on this project. But let's, let me just mention the, the, the technique. So you create a box that represents the aquarium. And that should have a good amount of um, topology in it. Um, density. Then you created a box. What I did created a box that went inside it that, that would, became the fluid. Okay, that was the next thing. And I made everything, in this case, 64 by 64. That may be much more than I needed. But you can't use, like, 6 by 6. Um, so the idea, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to cache it. And see what I get. Because once it's cached, then... That will make everything, uh, you know, then it's already cal calculated, right? So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, but one thing uh, I do want to see is if I if I can get it to work at a lower a lower geo, because it is very very slow. Okay, so this see it looks like it's calculating. Trying to go back to that geometry. So anyway, I was able to get have a, a successful test. The issue was the speed of the simulation is quite slow, and so I'm going to be my goal for this week is two things. Number one, it is to uh, see if I can get a, a, a cash the whole thing out and actually get a full simulation. But more importantly, the second thing is I want to see if I can speed this thing up because it is just too slow <laughs> the way it is. Um, especially once we try it, start adding other things like fish. And we, we maybe we want the plants to be, you know, to... to be an object that it, that the water collides with the water. Make them, maybe we want them to be more like an R, an RDB rather than a static object, more like the fish. The rocks could be a static object. You have to decide what is going to move and what isn't. And then the final touch will be, I want, if you look at a real aquarium, you have bubbles. You have air coming in and going out. 
right, from the filter, whatever kind of filter you're using. So, um, at any rate, um, and yes, I am starting to put an aquarium together in, you can't see it, but it's, it's back there in the corner of my room here, and, uh, it is a bit of work getting it set up, especially when you're my size and you're trying to put a 20-pound bag of gravel that has, it's in a bucket and has been rinsed, so there's, it's wet. <laughs> uh, I literally had to, like, scoop it in, scoop bits by hand into a separate container until I got the weight down enough that I was actually able to kept, put it over my head high enough so I can get it in there. But it's in there. And uh, tomorrow we start the water and actually start things running uh, to get it ready. One thing, and I know this is off topic, one thing I learned since the last time I had a, an aquarium, which is almost 30 years ago, is you, have, you just can't go to the store, buy your, your aquarium, buy a bunch of chemicals and food and so on, set it up and put fish in, it, it's not, it takes time for the water to, you have to do certain things so the water becomes water that the fish can actually survive in, and I don't know how they survived when I had, had my aquarium because I never cycled the tank or had it wait, but anyway, off topic, we are going to continue on with this, and um, next week I hope to bring you a, anim you know, at, at least the splash animation, and uh, I'm going to see if I can get the time down to something reasonable, and we'll take it from there. So, uh, thank you for watching, and take care. Right.